we introduce a unified optimization framework for geometry processing based on shape constraints. These constraints prescribe the shape of certain collections of sample points, such as polygons, one-ring cells, volume elements, or feature curves. Our algorithm is based on a two-step alternating optimization scheme. The first step computes the least squares projection of each set of vertices onto their respective shape constraints. In this example, we compute the best fitting square to each of the quads in the mesh. The second step solves a linear system to find the placements of the vertices that best match these projections. These two steps are iterated until conversions. The key ingredient of our optimization scheme are the projection operators. We introduce a toolbox of different operators that allow plug-and-play design of optimization solvers by combining different shape constraints. We present projection operators for continuous shapes, such as planes or circles, polygonal shapes, such as line segments, regular polygons or rectangles, and relative shapes that encode the class of transformations that elements of the original geometry can undergo during the optimization. Elements can include polygons, tetrahedra, or one-ring neighborhoods, for example. To evaluate the stability of the optimization, we have collapsed the original raptor mesh to a small sphere. When prescribing the shape of the original one-rings, the optimization quickly recovers the original shape, despite numerous degenerate elements in the compressed model. This test shows how polygonal shape constraints are prescribed on a quad mesh. Note that the symmetry of the original model is preserved. We now show several applications that could be implemented with our approach. Shape-preserving deformations aim at preserving important geometric features during deformation. Here we show rigid and similarity constraints imposed on the one-ring cells, leading to near-isometric and near-conformal deformations. We apply the rigid constraints on a larger model, this time using two ring cells, which leads to a smoother deformation. Rigid constraints can also be prescribed on tetrahedral cells or one rings. This enables natural deformations with local volume preservation. Shape constraints are also of great interest when computing a parametrization. We have used our framework to design a free boundary conformal parameterization method that can be applied to highly irregular meshes and meshes consisting of polygons of arbitrary degree. We show several examples for applications in architectural design. This demo shows the interplay of a number of different constraints. We use a conformal deformation model but constrain the quadrilateral faces to remain planar. The outer boundary is fixed while the inner boundaries can deform but are constrained to preserve their circular shapes. This enables a fast and intuitive exploration of the space of planar quad meshes. These meshes are of great interest for the realization of freeform glass structures, for instance. Here we constrain the parameter lines of a plane to lie in circles. In combination with a similarity constraint on the one rings, this yields another interesting design tool for shape exploration and form finding. Here we post-rationalize a given freeform design by prescribing planarity and circular constraints on the mesh elements. These properties are directly related to benefits in physical production. Here is a comparison with previous work for computing circular meshes. Since our approach can easily handle degenerate elements, we achieve a significantly higher level of smoothness of the surface curves, 
which is an important requirement in architectural design.